to story time. Pastor Laurie here from the Fairton and Newport United Methodist Churches. Now I got another story for us. Now this month, the rest of this month and part of August, we're going to do cuddle up stories. There's several of them. You see it's a big book. So we're going to start with the first one. It is the cuddle up story of four friends. Okay, four friends. Here's like a picture of them. Get those four, yep, four critters in the picture. Four friends, cat, bird, snake, and turtle were four best friends who got in an argument one day. I hear that the houses in the city are as tall as mountains, said the short-legged turtle. No, said the high-soaring bird. The houses in the city are like little boxes. Well, maybe some are like mountains and some are like boxes, said the curious cat. Or mountains that are boxes, said the slithery snake. And the four friends argued until the next day when they decided to see the houses for themselves. They began the long journey to the city, much in the same way as they had begun that day, by stretching their muscles and disagreeing. <laughs> They walked and argued for days. Can you imagine? Mountains, one said. Boxes, said the other. Mountains and boxes. Mountain boxes, said the fourth one. I've got to go back, said Cat one day. I'm very thirsty. I can't find my water bowl. We'll go on, said the others. You can catch up once you find it. Several days later, they passed a palm, palm nut tree tree. Okay, I'm hungry, said the bird. I want to eat some nuts. Maybe a long time before those nuts are ripe, said the turtle and the snake. But bird decided to stay until the nuts were ready to eat. He sees, his, sees a snack, but it's not ready, so he's going to wait until it's ready. So now they're down to a two. Yes, after many more days, the snake and the turtle came to a branch that lay across the road. The snake slithered right over it, but the turtle legs were too short to climb over. I don't want to leave you, Snake said, but I want to see the city. So the snake left Turtle behind. Snake then grew hungry, decided to eat. His friends would have warned him that snakes cannot move for a long time without eating, oh, after, sorry, after eating a meal, had they been with him. But soon snake had a, the snake had a full belly and could only lie on the road. Uh -oh. Snake was lonely and he lost track of time as he digested his meal. He thought so much about his friends who were far away that he forgot about the houses in the city. Each friend was alone for a long time, but eventually Cat found a water bowl, Bird ate the ripened palm nuts, and the turtle got past the tree branch. So there's the snake thinking about contemplating life, thinking about things. Soon the snake began to move again, too, and as he slithered along, he looked up and saw a bird. She swooped down and carried snake in her talons. The two friends were so happy to see each other, they forgot to argue. Imagine that. After a short while, they saw the cat, or saw a cat, with a turtle riding on her back. Together, the four friends finally made it to the city. They saw that the houses were neither tall as mountains, nor small as boxes. Oh no, said Cat, we were all wrong. Maybe so, said Turtle, but we found something else very important. Yes, said Bird, we found each other. The end. There they are, the friends found each other and stayed together at the end. And they got to see the city together. So that was our first cuddle up story. We'll have another one next week. Let's pray you have a good week. Lord, I pray for anyone that stumbles across this or watches this, that they would feel your love and presence this week. I pray that we would help show others your love because we are so loved. In your name we pray. Amen. Love you guys. Take care. And I'll see you again soon.